Welcome back everyone. Now we left off with this very basic HTML page here which just has a heading and some text and in this video now I want to guide you through the most basic HTML tags. Remember this is a tag, an opening tag and a closing tag. They always come in pairs. I will guide you through the most basic tags you need to create a website from the HTML site. Remember, we also get CSS and optionally some JavaScript, but we're only looking at the HTML site and therefore you need to know some very basic HTML tags you will encounter in basically every web page you're gonna create. So I think the best method to get these tags into your head and to to structure this is to think about what kind of things, which things do you encounter on the websites you're looking at every day. So we get some here. You're seeing headings, maybe of different sizes. So not only a H1 tag, which is the biggest heading available, but you might have an H, let's say an H3 tag. So this is a smaller heading than the H1 tag, um, which might be a subtitle. And then an H6 tag, which might be um, a very small subtitle, just to throw it into the room. So we get some headings, the tags H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. We also got text on our websites, we certainly do. So yeah, we might use some paragraphs which just enclose text, plain text, longer text too. We definitely got some links. And now here we'll have a first example where we will mix the tags, where we will have a structure consisting of several tags. Let's look at this text, this, this paragraph here. Let's say we also got and a link. Save it and reload our page. So we get our H1 heading, our H2 heading, H3 and here a link. Now obviously this isn't a link yet because all we did is write a link which is plain text. Now to make it a link we need another HTML tag. Specifically we need the A tag. So, oops, slash a. This creates a link, opening and closing tag. If we now take a link, cut it and insert it between, we almost got a link, but we need one more thing to make it a link. Because if you look at it now, what, what's missing to make it a link? Obviously the, the destination. We don't specify anywhere where this link should lead to. Therefore, we need to define an attribute. Now, attributes are something we haven't discussed yet. Attributes are additions to our HTML tags to give them additional configuration. And it depends on the HTML tag, which, if any, attributes are available. For example, the A tag has this ref attribute for referral, which allows us to tell where should this link go to. Now, to, to be able to create an actual link, I'll just use an internet address. You could also insert or use a local file. So let's say we would have uh, file index2.html, then we could just enter index2.html here. And if we would click, click this link, we would be taken to this document. But we don't have it, so let's just use a web page and I'm just gonna use google.com. Save it and now reload this page. And now you can see we got a link which is automatically styled such that it's blue and has an underline. Now keep in mind, styling can and will be changed by CSS, 
cascading style sheets. And that's why on most pages you don't see something like this, but a certain corporate identity or a, just a certain way it looks. And we will get into this, but for now, this is our basic style. I can only repeat it so often. So we get this link and if we click it, well, we're taken to Google. Awesome. So we got headings, paragraph and a link. And for this link, we had to use an attribute, which is called href. And attributes in HTML are either of this kind, like we have some attribute equals something between quotation marks or standalone chest attribute without anything behind it. These are the two possible ways attributes look like. And if you want to know which attributes are available, then really this is your reference here. So if we were to click on the aid tag here, well, we can see the ref attribute here. And it is said here too, the most important attribute of the A element is the ref attribute. But all attributes can be found here. And as you can see, there are a lot more than just a href attribute, but to be honest, most of them you don't need. And I will focus on the most important attributes for now, as I'm only focusing on the most important text too, and I don't want this to get too complicated. And as you can see, for example, here, quite a lot of these attributes say not supported in HTML5. By the way, when, when we're looking at this, this is an important thing. When you see something where it says not supported in HTML5, that does not mean that if you were to use something like this, it won't show up in your browser or it would show up wrong in your browser. Because the web consists of a broad variety of websites and not all of them are written in perfect HTML. Some of them might leave out this declaration of the document type. Some of them might be using older versions of HTML. Some might be declaring that it is HTML5, but they're using semantically incorrect syntax. But the browser is able to cope for all of that because browsers are written in a way that they are very error forgiving. They can render a broad variety of older or semantically incorrect tags as long as they are actual tags. So if something has been an HTML tag in the past, chances are quite good you could use it today as well, even though it is not supported by HTML5, which basically just means you should not use it. But it does not mean you can't use it at all. But you have to live with the possibility that browsers will drop support and someday it will break your, uh, your, your layout or your website. So you might ask, okay, well, what happens if I use some made up tag? Like if I say my own tag, right? I could write something like this. And as you saw, my IDE even auto completed it for me. So save it and reload this page. What happens? Nothing. As you can see, it doesn't appear. It's not written out as text and it's not changing anything because the browser sees that this looks like an HTML tag, but it doesn't know what to do it with it. And that means it just leaves it out. If I have some text between it, text in my own tag, this text will still get rendered. The text, as you can see here, will not be left out. But instead, only the tag doesn't have any effect. That is mostly to the reason that the web is currently developing in, in kind of the direction that you might be able or you, you to some extent are able to define your own tags and tell the browser how it should render these, these tags. But that is far too advanced for, for, for the moment. And as of now, the only thing you have to remember is if you write anything which doesn't exist between the, the tag, the, the, the smaller and bigger than sign, the browser doesn't do anything with it. It doesn't print it out as text, but it doesn't break anything. 